Welcome everyone to my Hero Factory review, Hero Factory 2013 review of Rocka, or Brain Attack Rocka. So let's get started. I guess the first thing we should go over is the new head. Just take it off. These heads, the inner heads, are different from the last few series we've gotten. They're now the more sturdy clips. And actually, here, let me take it out. Rocker's mask is also new. Here, let me give you a look at that. It no longer has the one eye. I don't know what side it was on. He no longer has the one eye. Here, so it has both the two normal eyes and the antenna and cameras and stuff like that. They're around the same size. I think it's the same size. Let me put that off to the side. Here's the, here's the head. It's the same color green as last time from Breakout, but... It has no inner face this time. All it has is an axle hole here and at the top. And right here, it's actually got a mini pin, which you take this, this new mask, and you, all you do is you just kind of clip it in there. I guess you could, this head looks really good if you want to make some Android mocks or something like that. Just some computerized robot or something. And then we have his weapons, or I guess we should go over the core first. Now, this body is also new. Here, we go over the body. It's got a new shape to it. Again, you have the core. I'm not going to take that off and show you the code. It's my code. And now it has clips here, 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 and here, which you just attach his arms on. And when I first saw pictures of this, these claw pieces look like they were going to be completely flush with the body but they're not and plus if you want them to look like the bag I actually got the bag right now if you want them to look like that you gotta bring them out like that I don't like that I really wish it would be in more attached to the core but So yeah, you have this sword, the translucent green sword, it's too bright here, let me just get the light out of the way. You have the translucent green sword, this is brand new, all it has is the axle hole which you connect onto his fist, then he has a little knife. And now you have the new side armor, new color. It's the number, what is it? Ah, it's a number four translucent green piece of armor. And then you just have this extra bulk. Just like how Nex had it in Breakout series. Then he's also got the shield. He's reminding me more and more of Kapaka, the more of him they make. Because he had the eye, now he has the shield. But it's completely, the completely round shield, and he's got only he has these two blades inside which spin around. Let's see, he's actually got two hands. Kind of see how that works. And you can actually take the shield off and. This red kind of rod right here, you just connect it on. And I'm, I like how it connects onto his back. I just don't like the space that it leaves. I really don't like that. Don't get me wrong, he does look cool. Here, let me put him in some cool pose. Oh, okay, and by the way, the mask can flip up or stay down. He does look cool like that. I just wish it didn't have the big gap. And then he's also got extra golden number four size armor, gun metal, and silver feet. I don't know why he gave him silver feet. Well, I guess it matches the hands, but yeah. Oh yeah, and by the way, also, this mask at the top of it has an axle hole. 
So here. And by the way, here's what he looks like from the the back. They still don't have the completely covered legs down yet. Lego, I mean. Or the body. Still just, you can still see all the skeleton parts. But, he's still good. I really do recommend picking him up. He's probably, i say, a 6 out of, a six out of 10. I, I think he's good. And, sorry, my talk just went nuts. I think he's really good. You should definitely pick up some of the brain tech, especially the villains. I think they're really cool with the, the little bugs attached to their brain. Well, I hope you enjoy this review, and thanks a lot for watching.